thank you. Um, yeah, I have it on. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the internet, that is a lot about technology. And of course, technology is bringing a lot of wonderful things for us, but also some scary things and also some things we should be aware of. Six trends I'd like to share with you. A couple of weeks ago, LinkedIn was hacked. Five million group, uh, CVs of people were on stream. What did the hackers aim for? What could they do with our CV? They can't do anything with it. But the real aim, they have a business model nowadays. Because hackers are not activists anymore, hackers are business people. Because what they did, a week later, they called LinkedIn and they said, did you see what we do? Okay, you want us to do it again? No? Five million dollars, please. That is the new business model. And this is happening all over. And even the mafia admits that the majority of their business today is internet criminality. For example, if I want to rob harm and I have to kill you, I have to get all of your jewels and your, your watches, I have to kill you, all this blood, it doesn't, I have to get rid of, the, of your corpse, it's, it's such a mess. It's much easier to rob your digital in a digital way. And the mafia and also the big drug organizations know it. All the things that they are doing is just to keep the police occupied. The real business, the real business is internet criminality. And this is some of the things we should be aware of. This creates new business models, so you have to protect yourself. But most companies and most people are just not protected enough, they're just not interested. On the other hand, this is going to create millions and millions of new jobs in the IT security. If you're thinking of a new job or a new career, think of IT security, it's going to become big. Uh, this is the, the first thing. Um, the second thing is, of course, your data are worth quite a lot. Uh, the data of every consumer are worth about 1,000 euros or 1,000 uh, dollars. Um, but the point is, we don't want to pay for the services of Google and Facebook. We want it for free. And because we want it for free, Salando and all the other people keep coming up to us because they trade in our data. But one of the things we're going to see in the future is that consumers are going to trade in their own data. Google knows, for example, that I like tiles. Whenever I go on Google, they get all the advertisements for tiles, which is wonderful. But in the future, manufacturers of tiles are going to pay me for my data in order that they can get the time and the, and the room to get my attention and to advertise in my space. And there's a lot of business models there for entrepreneurial people like you to come up with that in the future. And we're going to see that as well. So this is the first thing. Major shift in business models caused by the internet and caused by privacy. The second one, even top people of Google and, and, and Apple admit that it's not good for people to be online 24-7. It's not good for the way you develop your personality. It's not good for the way you develop your character. And a lot of the things are happening in the cloud because the point is we just don't know where our data are. This is Steve Wozniak, one of the founders of Apple. And this guy said last week in an interview, cloud computing is going to become very, very dangerous because we just don't know where our data are. And even his own company, Apple, is trading a lot of data, but we just don't know where they are. And the point is, the data uh, fall under the jurisdiction of the country where the server is. So for example, if you put a photo on Facebook and the server is in America, it falls under the copyright laws of America and not of Holland. And most people are just not aware of all of this. Most people don't know where the data are, where the backups are being made. So this is also one of the things a lot of people in the near future are going to get their data back nearby again because they want to protect all of this itself. And the same problem is going to happen with being online all the time. I speak to people now who just put it on, who just don't want to be online anymore. Uh, a recent study in America shows that currently 20% of the Americans have less intimate friends than 20 years ago when all of this started, yeah, the uh, email and internet and mobile phone and SMS services. 20% of the Americans have less friends than 20 years ago, less intimate friends, and 30% of the Americans have no intimate friends at all. One in four people in Holland calls himself lonely. In an age more connected than ever, more people than ever feel disconnected. So this is also one of the things. Be aware of it. Man management of loneliness is going to be a very big thing. The second, uh, 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 also what we're going to see is that people don't want to share everything anymore on the internet. The one the new trend is, is going to be that we don't share it anymore. We just don't want people to know what we are doing. And if we, we communicate something that we're doing, we're lying about it. A lot of people just lie on Facebook. 
I, 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 I heard that uh, nobody ever says on Facebook that he has an off day or that he's depressed. They all lie. It's also wonderful and wonderful. And I talked to one of the advertisers and he said, I saw it. On Sunday, a lot of young men say on Facebook, how would we like to be with our little kids? He said, okay, then we're going to design a special uh, thing, all special products for young fathers, uh, like this. Uh, the, the, uh, and, and they thought, okay, let's come up with it. And then they started to advertise for it. And they sold nothing. Because all the men were lying. They don't want to be with their kids. They want to go to soccer, out to the bar, and have a drink with a beer, have a, have a beer with their friends. People are lying all the time. And that is also one of the things. So this is also one of the things we're going to see. Um, the fourth one, algorithms. Um, what is happening is that, that a lot of uh, uh, all the traces that we, uh, all our traces on the internet are being used in algorithms in, 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 in a lot of uh, ways so that advertisers know what we do and they can sell us things, which is wonderful. I love it. But we're also going to see that managing algorithms, algorithms and using all of this, that we're going to see that it will not work for everybody anymore because algorithms really don't like people. Because people are emotional. People are, 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 uh, don't want to, to, to make their decisions in a very rational way. And in the near future, we're going to see the battle between the algorithms and the people, the battle between algorithms and emotions. So one of the things is also an appeal of me to the people who develop all these algorithms. Be aware of what you're doing. Be aware of what you're doing with humans. Is, it, is it all of this really going to make us happy? Because one of the things that we see with algorithms is that it's, it puts people apart, it separates people. We see, for example, look, if I'm going to shop at Amazon and they say someone who bought this book also bought that and that book, that's wonderful, I like that. That's a good way of shopping. But what we see is that this personalized internet now is also going to invade the news. So what we're going to see is that someone who has like a certain, uh, certain ideas, of his, of certain political ideas, is never going to be confronted again with other ideas. And this is one of the reasons, for example in America, that we see that people are so divided. Because people are never confronted anymore with other ideas and with other opinions. And that is one of the reasons why I think personalized shopping on the internet is great, but personalized news is not good. This is also something. But in the future we're going to see that people are going to pay to get to confronted with other opinions than their own. I would love to. I would love to be I'd love to be confronted with other ideas, and that's why I look for all of it. But currently you don't find it. Currently you don't find it, and the search engines don't help. The, the fifth one is what we're going to see that because of all the, uh, all the issues with technology and with the, and with the virtual uh, economy, paper is coming back. Next week, Google in the Netherlands is sending out a direct mail, uh, direct mail campaign, starting a direct mail campaign to 6 million Dutch people, a country of 60 million, and they all get a direct mail on paper. Google, an IT company, is starting to market to people on paper. What's happening here? And this is going to happen. We see it more often. I was at PostNL, the Dutch Post Organization. They say, we see now with the e-cards that people get, especially at Christmas, but also in other occasions, people just don't read it anymore. They take it away. They're not interested anymore. PostNL is starting a factory for paper envelopes again. Times are changing, and this is what we're going to see all over, all over. So the future is not, it's in a, it's in a very wavy way. Not everything is happening in the same way. It's not a straight line, not a straight line towards the end of paper and more digitalization. It will be a mix of N and N. Okay, the last one is what we're also going to see with, with IT, is that insourcing is going to replace outsourcing. Currently, we, we outsource our data, we outsource our IT work to India and all other places, but also there we see we don't know who is handling our data anymore. We don't know what's happening. So what we're going to see is that IT work is going to be insourced again. So to conclude, these are six, six trends that I'd like to share with you on the internet. So we, besides the digital world, we're also going to see a ritual world, paper and other things as well. You have to prepare yourself for the loss of data, and you have to prepare yourself for the new business models of hacking. And you really have to protect it, but most people are just not interested. They just don't they even have a spyware or all these things. They just don't have anything on their computer. They're not interested. And this is a summary, it's a video about what's going to happen. Collect.
future, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's happening. And it might sound a bit strange eh, that you have to pay for privacy in the future, but this is the future. If you want privacy, you have to pay for it. So the future is not about one big open internet. The future is about several internets at the same time. And it's up to you as a consumer which one of them you will use. Enjoy it. It will be a wonderful time. Thank you very much.